today. Let's move on and talk football. Yeah, let's go to Ghana. Wafu mm. Cup, Super Eagles of Nigeria, working on Teen Ice. Um, Chinas here. Um, you don't want to play the host last game of the group and you want to win. It's, you know, it's this, not, this, 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 this is a very funny situation, you know, because uh, on Friday, uh, on my radio show, we're talking about the fact that the Ghanaians actually. You know, the fact, you know, we were supposed to play Guardians first in this particular tournament. Uh, and for some reason, they, you know, they altered the fixture and, you know, put this <laughs> particular game yeah, to be lost. played last. Uh, uh, the reasons were because it was a marquee fixture, you know, uh, TV audiences and everything. But right. you don't do that. And it has got, well, we, 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 with what is happening now, we'll always go back to whatever to what, why the fixtures were altered because well, if the Nigerians had played Ghanaians first maybe if, uh, <laughs> whatever happened then from now you will know what you're supposed yeah. to do but at the end of the day uh, another argument you would say is that to beat the best you have to beat the best you, know, you have to beat win all your opponents and everything well, I'm just saying to be ready I, I, before I, Ghana. I, I'm just saying that you know that might be an excuse okay. whether you like it or not they will, they will, always, be, they will always bring it up but you know against the Ghanaians uh, yes uh, lots of permutations if they if they draw if they win you know, I mean, they, but they know for themselves they know they need to go out there and, and get to win, win. win. qualify. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. A draw, a draw they'll, they'll be dependent on other results to you qualify. Know, they, they've, they've done this to us again. We have to do the calculators. But let's give you a confirmation of today's fixtures. Nigeria uh, take on Ghana. Uh, Ghana already qualified with six points. That's it. Ghana, Nigeria, Guinea, Mali. All right, let's take a look at how the group stands. Ghana on six points, followed by Nigeria, no, we have not scored any goal. Mm. We have not considered any. So, two points. Mm. Uh, uh, this Mali should be Guinea. Guinea. Uh, uh, this should be uh, on top of... Um, okay, there's a little mix up there Mali on our part. Guinea. We saw that Mali and Guinea. Guinea on top, Mali have considered um, more, more goals. So, you could say any of the three could still qualify, aside from Ghana. Yes, any of the three could still qualify. Uh, Ghana already are through. Uh, so, that, like you said, Nigeria, uh, that's right, we'll give them right. uh, qualification. If Nigeria loses, anybody that wins between Guinea and Mali will also qualify. Mm. If Nigeria gets a draw, anybody that, wins, draw. anybody that wins between Guinea and Mali will still qualify. If Nigeria, if, if, Nigeria, if, Nigeria, if, Nigeria gets, uh, if Nigeria gets to lose, you know, it, it, there are lots of, you, you can start listing out the different permutations. Right. That, I think it's, well, I think well, it's about if, four. Yeah, you know, the, the thing is, if Nigeria beats Ghana, Nigeria qualifies straight. If Nigeria All right, draws this against is Ghana... This is how it, how it looks. You can continue what you're saying, yeah. but this is exactly how it if looks. If Nigeria draws against Ghana, uh, they will have to hope that Guinea and Mali draw so they can yeah. still qualify. If Nigeria loses to Ghana, uh, whoever wins between Guinea and Mali but will go through. But if we beat Ghana... Doesn't matter what happens. Yeah, so that. So, would, yeah, I mean, that, that's and, straightforward. And Why not go for the straightforward option? And I imagine that's what Coach Salisu uh, used to will be telling his guys today. We're going for the win against Ghana to just, you know, seal qualification and forget whatever's going to happen between uh, Mali and Guinea. Ghana, they've qualified already. I mean, do you see a situation where. Oh, okay, yeah, we qualified already. And, My thoughts uh, exactly <laughs> will complete, but, but it's against Nigeria. It's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm worried. I'm thinking the Ghana's like, we've qualified already. And they'll uh, relax. If nah. whatever happens, we're no, top. No, not a chance now. Yeah, whatever if, happens, we're top. But it's if, against Nigeria. If I was the coach of the Ghanaians, right. I, would, I would say you go out there and eliminate these guys so that they won't, won't, won't make <laughs> them pose a threat. Yeah, later <laughs> in the competition. It's that simple. Right. Okay. Keep that straightforward. So uh, <laughs> Nigeria's uh, home base, they, goes, they have their work cut out. Uh, uh, in terms of qualifying for the next round of the fee, fee, uh, of the Wafu uh, Nations Cup going up in Ghana. Still on football, but this time we're coming back to Nigeria. And we'll be talking about the Nigerian National yes. League. A lot of interesting uh, matches played uh, over the weekend. So let's quickly uh, bring that to you if we can. We uh, probably should start from the Southern Conference where you have more matches. Uh, that's uh, week 29 results. A lot of interesting matches. Heartland 2-1 victory over Warrior Wolves. You have insurance. Uh, beating Aqua Starlets. All right, that's it on your screen. Uh, China, so let's really run uh, through this together. I don't know if you have any, you know, results uh, that surprise you. Heartland already, uh, they've done the business. Uh, Delta Force, 2-1 victory over Unicef Rovers. Uh, Baesa United, 3-1. Baesa United knocking on the door. 3-1 uh, victory over AS Racines. Okay, so yeah, more teams will go down in, in the Southern Conference uh, than uh, in the North. Crown FC, uh, goalless against Abia Comets. Inewi, United, 2-2 uh, draw with Oshun. Gateway, uh, this was a walkover, uh, unless anything changes. Um, over my people, go round, 2-0 victory 
over Ikorodu. Um, I, I feel so sorry for uh, Ikorodu. I, I was thinking that they were going to come back uh, up uh, immediately. I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, this is the Northern Conference. Northern Conference. You have Jigawa Golden Stars against uh, Yubi Desert Stars. 2-1 uh, victory for Jigawa there. Everest one nil victory over <coughs> uh, FC Sanvara, 1-0 over Quara um, United. FC Tara, Quara United uh, uh, already um, uh, booked their place uh, in the FPFL. FC Taraba, 2-1 victory over Mighty Jets. All right, these are some of the results. Uh, China Zaya talks uh, quickly. Oh, well, uh, it's, uh, I'm happy for Hotland. You know, a uh, quick, uh, <laughs> quick return back to the league uh, after uh, being a, a relegated last season. Uh, a traditional team, formerly one year old national and everything. So, a uh, good one for them. Also, Cry United, uh, they, they, were make, they made a lot of splash uh, a while ago in the league, and it's good for them to mm -hmm. be back, too. So, yeah. Your uh, candidates uh, to, to join the two? Uh, to join the two? Well, you know, one from there's, 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 there's still a whole lot happening, so okay. let's just see how it goes. But Quarry United and, and Hapland, I'm happy for, for, the, for, for, for now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, where do we also go from here? Uh, let's see if we can quickly uh, travel abroad and give you the results. We'll talk about it much later on the show. The English Premier League. I'm going to ask China here if he was surprised with the outcome of the big game. But, but let's see if we can quickly do that. While we're trying to do that, Chelsea asked not the game. Your thoughts quickly uh, before we go on the break. A uh, quick one. Uh, uh, when the game started, uh, Asad Wenger mirrored uh, Conte's formation or 3-4-3. Three, three. And uh, I, I, like the, I like the three players. I like the three players he used in front. Actually, hard workers talking about Iwobi, Lacazette, yeah, and Daddy Robert. You know, putting constant Shades. pressure on the on the Chelsea defense, and uh, uh, I like the way the other man at Conte actually reacted. You know, when he saw that this wasn't going according to plan, he removed that extra okay. winger and brought in Bakayoko in the midfield. Right. So, <laughs> Chilas, yeah. I hold your thoughts. Uh, <laughs> uh, Manchester United also defeated um, the opponents for We're going to break. Uh, when we return, we'll take a look at the papers and some other issues. All for your sports this morning.